Okay, well then. Uh, I'm only too happy to put your doubts to rest. Welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about the G.I. Joe Classified Retro Series Crimson Guard. Now, this is not the regular G.I. Joe uh, Classified Series Crimson Guard you got in the regular box. This is the repaint, the retro one, which you guys have probably already seen, but that's okay. I'm gonna have a good look at these, talk about them, and show off the differences between this retro and the original. But anyway, here it is on the card back, which is nicely done. It's 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 a throwback to back when I was a kid, and this is the way the figures used to look, but they were three and three quarter inch figures. They were smaller. And then you have the back, which gives you the bio read on the card. And then you actually have other figures in the line, which they used to show off like this as well. With a huge explosion in the backgrounds, everything was just, you know, really just different back in the 80s. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's reminiscence from when we were kids. So uh, let's get this guy out of this package and let's take a look at him. Okay, so now that I have them out, I just want to say I have two of these guys here, one with all the accessories on them, one without. So let's take a look at this guy here. So this guy here, he is the exact same as the classified one, except for the paint is a lot lighter. Detail and everything is all the same, except for we get the classic face mask that we got from back in the day when we were kids, which is actually really nice. If I can get this thing to focus, there we go. Um, and then you have, of course, his medals. And then you have the Cobra logo here, his uniform. It's all very nicely done. You have the V on the belt. Moving down to his uh, holster, which is red. And then his knife sheath, which is black, of course. And then moving down. So very well done. Um, and then you have the uh, upside down triangle here on his arm with the Cobra emblem in it, which is also very nice. It's just very cool that they actually went and did this. Now it would've been cool if they would've just done this in the beginning with a deeper color like the other one, but hey, you know what? And then plus the buckles of course are painted just like on the other one. So overall it is a very nice looking figure and they do come with the same things. And we'll go over the accessories real quick. We have his backpack, which is all in red. And then of course, same as the uh, original, except for the original was all in black. And then we have, of course, the knife, exact same knife, got the little Cobra on the handle. I mean, very well done, I, I have to say. I mean, everything is the same. Pistol, his M16 with the bayonet on it, very nice. And uh, yeah, the clip still comes out, snaps in. Very well done. I'm glad that they, they painted this. They didn't change it, just make it all black. They left it just like they did on the original. But yeah, very well done. And then, and then, and then we have the sword and the sheath, which of course the classified version comes with. And what the classified version does not come with is the little plastic black stand with the Cobra stamp in it. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the only difference between. Now, really quick, really quick. So you have you have these two guys here, which represent what was in the cartoon. And now you have what came out, what we got. And I have to say, if you actually take a look at the colors of the figures, they are a lot lighter compared to this guy. This guy's more of a crimson red than these guys here. But that's okay, that doesn't break the bank. But either way, this guy would be the leader of these guys here, like he would be a higher ranking uh, officer. But these guys here are definitely the um, fodder. These guys uh, are the shock troops, like the stormtroopers for Star Wars. You know, Cobra sends these guys out, they go out there, um, you know, some of them are, are, are living amongst people as spies, so on and so forth whatever the case, but these are the guys that get sent out in droves and they are meant to be used on the battlefield. And if they get killed, they get killed. That's all there is to it. But I just wanted to show these guys off. That's what I really wanted to do. And yeah, it's cool. It's cool, but they should have kept this darker color for them 
because this would have popped more. That's just my opinion. I love the way the silver actually pops on this guy more than it does on these guys here. And his rope around the shoulder is actually gray, not silver. So there's a difference. So yeah, there are a few here's and there's, but for the most part, yeah. And, and these guys feel like a lighter plastic than this guy here. So overall, get a chance to pick them up if you can find them. Great, you can army build them, that's awesome. And you have these guys here. So if they ever come out with a Pythona, you can have her grabbing them by the face like they did in the movie. And uh, yeah, cool stuff. Nothing wrong with the articulation with these guys. It's all the same. Nicely done. Uh, no issues with the arms popping off or anything like that or anything weird. So they're definitely worth picking up. But guys, this is my review on the retro line of the um, <laughs> Crimson Guard. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. Please hit that notification bell so you never miss out on anything new. And I'll catch you on the flippity flip.